I was thrilled to be invited to build something residential in Berlin because I love the city. Berlin has so much history and so much potential for development in, in all spheres. Well, I, I thought about it as sapphire because sapphire is a kind of rough gem, but it's precious. And when you cut it, it's, it's beautiful. You, you discover there is more in the reflection and in the transparency, in the translucency or opacity. It's, it's the entirety of the light of the sapphire and its softness, but it's also rough, it's tough, it's, it's resistant, uh, it's bold. So that's also a character of Berliners and of Berlin. I love this building. I have to tell you, you know, I've been lucky to build, I don't know, dozens of museums. But to me, the biggest challenge is to build just a place where people live. That to me is the height of architecture, the everyday life. I wanted to create something unique, something artistic, something that is uh, enjoyable, something that brings uh, a smile to someone uh, in the morning and when they come back from work and when they entertain their friends or just passers by on a urban street, on a great street on Chausseestrasse, which is like one of the gates to Berlin. And at the same time, we have life. We have you know, retail, we have a cafe, we have, we have people living, we have people working, we have, we have an environment that is positive and I think creates that permeability and, and conversation between the city and the apartments. Architecture is not just the prose of the world, it's also the poetry of the world. And I think at the end, architecture to me is, is about light.